we're going to convert this standard form equation into vertex form. This process is very similar to completing a square. One of the benefits of converting to vertex form is you can identify the actual vertex. The H and the K, those are the values that will give us our vertex. Notice in our formula, it's minus H. So whatever number is here, you take the opposite sign of it, and that is will be the X coordinate of your vertex. This number, it is whatever it is. So H comma K will be our vertex. So the first thing we're gonna start out doing is we are gonna move our constant, keep it on the same side of the quadratic and linear term, but just move it down to make room to create that perfect square trinomial. The next thing we ask is, is the A a one? In this case, it is. Now we can get ready to create a perfect square trinomial. We do that by taking half of the B term, divide it by two, and then square it. So that is gonna be seven squared, that gives us 49. Now we cannot just throw in the value 49 into our equation, it has changed the original equation. So if we add a 49, and we subtract a 49 all on the same side, we really have only added the value zero, thus keeping the same equation as we started with. Now I'm gonna set up and get ready to factor our perfect square trinomial. We take the root of our quadratic term, we take the sine of our linear term, and we take the root of our constant term, which is seven. And now we will combine the 13 and the minus 49, and we get negative 36, and we are finished. So this number and this number become our vertex. Remember, the H, the number inside the parentheses, you take the opposite of that, that's what the formula says, and our K, it is whatever it is. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the vertex.